It'll be fun, 7 Eastern. Then we head to Big 12 for Oklahoma taking on Kansas. And our Australian Open first round coverage continues tonight at 7 Eastern on ESPN Plus, 9 Eastern on ESPN2, highlighted by Coco Goff and Rafa Nadal's matches. Star studded. That should be fun. Last night was pretty fun, but not for Patrick Mahomes. He just couldn't get it going for the Chiefs yesterday during Tom Brady's beatdown of Kansas City. Vegas is predicting Kansas City will get revenge next year, though, uh, leading next year's Super Bowl odds at 11-2. to Tampa Tom with 11-1 to behind Green Bay. Stephen A., do you think we're more or less likely to see a Brady versus Mahomes rematch next year? I'd say more. I'd say more. And I and by the way, I think it's Todd Bowles beat down of, of Kansas City more so than Tom Brady, just for the record. <laughs> but I would say, yeah, I think it's I think it's more likely than I'm not 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 guaranteeing it, not by any stretch of the imagination, but I think it's better than a 50-50 proposition uh, that it'll happen. And the reason I feel that way is because who in the AFC is standing in Kansas City's way? Well, you know, Buffalo is still about Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs. Uh Pittsburgh, don't get me started with them. All right, get a running game before we can talk yeah. about Pittsburgh. Uh, when we look at some of the other teams uh, that are available, Cleveland's on the come up year. Baltimore can't be summarily dismissed. I understand that. But Kansas City's still that team. Mm -hmm. Kansas City's still that team. Then we look in the NFC. That's tougher. That's tougher, no doubt. But uh, Matt LeFleur, I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not sold on Green Bay, even though – uh, that that's why I was foolish because remember all season long I picked Tampa Bay to go to Super Bowl and I jumped off because of that bad man. Yeah. Little did I know that Mr. Lafleur would take the ball out of his hands, you know, on a fourth and goal and whatever, and then and, and, and ask a, a somebody asking a defense to prevent Tom Brady from getting a first down. Okay, because you got three timeouts and a two minute warning available to you. All right. Then we look in the NFC. I don't expect Drew Brees to be there. Yeah. All right. So New Orleans is going to be altered to some degree. Although Seattle, maybe better depending on who is there. Yeah, but Seattle, you know, they're good. The they're Rams? there. The Rams. Are, yeah. Stafford might you know, do something. Now he might. Right. He might because the defense is big time. And he might. Honestly. But he, wasn't he might position. not. Yeah. Listen, if you ain't never won a playoff game in your career. Well, he wasn't in a position to succeed in Detroit. Yeah, I, I understand. I, and I understand your love for Detroit. I get it. But the flip side to it, Molly, is that, damn, you've been around a while. Not one playoff win? Mm -hmm. I mean, I understand why you won the Super Bowl. Not one playoff win? I mean, you could fall into that. I'm just saying. I got to look at that, too. Was Tom so, Brady won a playoff yeah. game in right. Detroit? Yeah. I know. Yeah. So, so, so for me, the way I look at it is just that I'm like, listen, I give them better than a 50-50 chance now that they've learned how to win. Mm -hmm. To be the favorites. And, and if Tom Brady and everybody comes back, of course, we're making that assumption. If that happens... I would say it's better than 50-50 proposition that we got a rematch. I think it's less, and I'll tell you why. First of all, I learned a lesson that I should have already known. Remember I said I took Kansas City against the field? Not mm -hmm. as the odds-on favorite, but just purely as the favorite mm -hmm. all year. But the problem in the NFL is you can say that before the season. I don't know the health of the offensive line come Super Bowl time. Of I didn't, course. You know, like two guys, I thought they should have been underdogs. And it had a then. major impact. Uh, of course, and so you don't know. And I would say... Very few teams ever get back to the Super Bowl and back-to-back. -back. That's yeah. hard to do. We need two teams to do it. Stephen A., instead of going through all the iterations and or all the teams that you just mentioned, let me just say, if the Ravens get some dynamic playmakers on that offense, I wouldn't say Lamar couldn't get there. Maybe they're very, very tough to beat if that's the case. Um, and, and one big thing I think you overlook, Stephen A., what's going to happen with Deshaun Watson? Where is he going to land? Great point. Because if Deshaun winds up on Miami... Mm -hmm. The way they were playing, and all of a sudden it's the Miami Dolphins with Deshaun Watson. I think very differently about things. If Buffalo, if the Chiefs are in a similar situation on the whole line, which they have to rebuild a little right. bit right now, right. and they run into Buffalo and Josh right. Allen and Stephon Diggs, maybe a different situation. I think there's a good enough chance that these two meet again in the Super Bowl with Brady and Mahomes in the next couple of years that I, I'm hopeful that we'll see it. But I would, I would handicapping it. I give it next year a ten or twenty percent. All I'm trying to say, all I'm trying to say to you is, you gave me a whole bunch of ifs. We don't know where Deshaun Watson is going to end up. We don't know whether Baltimore is going to get Jamal, Lamar Jackson those weapons. So when I look at it from that perspective, come back and talk to me when they do it. Yeah. As presently constructed, mm -hmm. I would say these two teams that were in the Super Bowl, it's a better than fifty. I'll give you one chance. more then. I'll sure. give you one more. Sure. Green Bay drafted a backup core or a successor yeah. in the first round last year. Mm -hmm. they ain't doing that this year. We should yeah. expect the Green Bay Packers team that keeps getting better 
to give Why? Aaron Rodgers weapons. Why should we expect that? Why should we expect that? What he's are they going to do with the draft pick? He's been they need to look at what happened in Tampa. It. What are they going to do with the draft pick? He's been there since 2005. If I'm Aaron Rodgers and I'm Russell Wilson, I saw him. Congrats on Walter uh, Payton Man of the Year Award. He was yes. with his beautiful wife, he Sierra. I would have loved to see him in the Super Bowl next year, Aaron Rodgers. They need to get on the phone like Tom Brady and get some talent to come play with You're them. You're right. So they, By the way, that adds so they have whoa, a whoa, shot whoa, to compete. Whoa, 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 whoa. Both of them, Rodgers. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're wrong. Why? I don't think you say that about Seattle. D.K. Metcalf, Tyler Lockett, No, he needs help, they need help on defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah but I'm saying you went, out and, you went out and got Jamal Adams. Yeah. All right, who, who did you get? The who, defense they, is they good They had Bobby enough. Wagner still. Yeah. You, had, yeah. you had Bobby Wagner still. Who's the kid they that they got more. Dumbar? They picked him up yep. as well. At Listen, they, I'm saying they, they made, yeah, yeah, they made right. moves. No, but, but Molly's point to me is a good right. one. Brady's le- his greatness, part of it is leadership. Part of it is acting as a magnet for talent yeah. the way LeBron does. It, you're, I, I agree with you. Those guys Play should GM. be working it. You're right. Right. Be thirsty. Look how it happened for Tom Brady. Uh, all right. We'll leave it there. When we come back, Brady, MJ Gretzky. Did Brady prove he's the greatest player in modern team sports history? I from above the Chase River deck at Pier 17. If you're not fired up to play in the Super Bowl, then I don't know what else can make you get any more fired up. Super Bowl 55 will be underway. Pass to Gronkowski. He's going to score a touchdown. Rob Gronkowski's got two today. Big time pressure on Mahomes. Tony O'Brien dives low to make this catch. The Chiefs try to regroup. They are down 21 to 6 at halftime. To the 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. There's nothing the Chiefs can do. There will be no repeat. Bucks win, Bucks win the Super Bowl. Tom Brady, you are the man, you are the GOAT, the greatest of all time. Seven rings. Huge congrats to Tampa Bay. And uh, Max, see the stack of papers right here? These are all firsts by Tom Brady. Yeah, right. <laughs> Literally, this is a no. I asked research. Print. I'm like, give me all the firsts <laughs> that Tom Brady has accomplished. And it's a novel. Max, let me ask you this. What do you feel like, in your opinion, is the bigger headline? Is it that Brady's Bucks dominated or that the Chiefs were dominated? That Brady's Bucks dominated. And the reason I say that is this. This is crazy. Add this to the... To the I know. I got like, too many. Here, here's the thing. I start to look at historical parallels and, Mm -hmm. you know, like what's going to be the bigger story, not just now, but going forward, right? And so I think, what what does this remind me of? When the greatest show on turf got upset. Remember way back then, we're going Mm -hmm. back 20 Mm -hmm. years. Who upset the greatest show on turf? (laughs) Tom (laughs) Brady. It's unbelievable. He's won a Super Bowl in three decades. as As a different kind of player. Yeah. Back then, he was like, the league wasn't crazy pass happy. Certainly the Patriots weren't. He wanted to. Ma- he had to manage the game, be big on third down, let the mm-hmm. field goal kicker hit some field goals, let the defense do its job. He's had so many lives in the NFL since then, including the quarterback of the greatest offense ever on that Patriots team that lost to the Giants. And here, so I'm looking for parallels to this. Hmm. You know what I still remember from that Super Bowl? Not so much who beat the greatest show on turf, but that the greatest show on turf lost. So that would mean that actually the story is the Chiefs losing, except that. The Tom Brady that beat the greatest show on turf was relatively unknown compared mm-hmm. to today. Mm-hmm. The Patriots were underdogs. No one can say, like, I didn't think the Bucs should have been underdogs going into the game, especially the way the Chiefs line played. You did but argue Tom, that, yeah. Yeah, but a Tom Brady-led team that just went on the road and beat all these Hall of Fame quarterbacks that has a great defense and a great offense, no one's sitting here shocked if they dominate. Mm-hmm. A lot of people, like Molly's, like I told you, never bet against Tom yeah. Brady. And I think the enduring story here is going to be when Tom Brady was 43 years old in his first season in Tampa, they dominated the defending Super Bowl champs. That's going to be the takeaway. Well, on a personal level, before I answer that question directly, one of my takeaways is going to be major, major, major props uh, to Bruce Arians. His defensive, his assistant defensive line coach is a female. Mm-hmm. Uh, his strength and conditioning coach is a female. Mm-hmm. Two women on the coaching staff for Bruce Arians. They will get Super Bowl rings. And obviously four of his lead assistants, your offensive coordinator and Byron Leftwich, your defensive coordinator and, and, and Todd Bowles, along with uh, uh, an assistant, you know, a uh, lead uh, assistant head coach, uh, along with your special teams coordinator, are all African-American mm-hmm. men. And so when we think about what the Rooney rule was supposed to represent, Bruce Arians has taken that and he's taken it to another level. And that man has my utmost respect and appreciation and gratitude 
for what he has done and, and what he has done for minorities in the sport of the National Football League when no one else has come close to doing that. So he deserves a lot of credit. But I would tell you the thing that I walk away from is that the, the Chiefs were dominated. Um, I understand that you give the Bucks credit where it's due, and they deserve all the credit in the world. And we'll spend weeks apologizing for doubting them. I know I will, you know, starting with Leonard Fournette tomorrow, because I certainly doubted them. I thought they would score over 30, but I didn't think they would hold Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs to under double-digit points and no touchdowns. The defense was phenomenal yesterday. The defense was phenomenal. Devin White, Shaq Barrett, and the rest of the crew. Antonio Winfield uh, Jr. with the deuces uh, with the peace sign to, to JPP, Tyreek Hill. Knocking JPP knocking ball. Yeah. The whole bit. I mean, they deserve all and Dominican Sue. They deserve all the credit in the world. So it's special to see. But I look at the Kansas City Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes was supposed to be the GOAT. We ain't saying that now. Tyreek Hill, you know, is elite as a receiver. How the hell are you going to stop him? Well, they did it yesterday. Mm-hmm. Travis Kelsey, a future Hall of Fame tight end. Even though he had 10 receptions for 133 yards, the bottom line is they were as meaningless as it comes when you consider the level of dominance that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense really, really put at their disposal. Eric Bieniemy, for example, will he get a job ever now? I mean, remember, he was in the last year of his contract for the sole express purpose that the Kansas City Chiefs thought he would be a head coach, which is why he was in the final year of his deal. Now they're talking about re-upping him because he didn't get the job. Well, guess what? Not only did you lose the Super Bowl, you got trounced. And not only did you get trounced, you got trounced by another black man in Todd Bowles and his defense. So you know people are going to elevate Todd Bowles, and I'm very happy for Todd Bowles. And you know they're going to elevate him, but it's going to be if at the expense. You're a black expense. coordinator. You better never lose. It's, it's, but it's, <laughs> it's unfortunate. I mean, you know, it's not 